This week's episode of Ignition is brought to you by GoDaddy, Netflix, Gamefly, and stupid me who forgot to get Kevin and Alex to record a joke sponsor. potentially hazardous to your health. All right, moving on. Why it's do you have southern, flies in your freaking house? I know this is southern, southern California. It's Southern California and I have fruit. You <laughs> put zombie and you put ear in the title and I don't want to do it. Dignation.com. Hello everybody and welcome to Dignation, episode number 235. I'm Alex Albrecht. I'm Kevin Rose. Dignation covers some of the hottest user submitted stories on the social news website dig.com. That's D-I-W-G.com. That's right. We're here in San Francisco, and I, my friends, am hydrating. Uh, smart water may be one of my favorite waters in the world. It is good water. It does have electrolytes built in without all the extra sugar and uh, artificial sweeteners. Good for you, good for the earth, good for the we environment. Swat water. Smartwater.com. Swat water. <laughs> Just kidding. They're not even a sponsor. <clears throat> I don't even know if they own smart water. Let's see if they own smartwater.com. Who? I'm sure they do. I love Smart Water. Uh, What's your favorite? They do not. Smart Water is delivering proven crime reduction strategies. Oh, <laughs> Smart Water protective agencies. <laughs> what? Uh, what would you see? What would you say is your favorite non-alcoholic drink? Tea. Besides tea, and I'm taking coffee off the thing. Non-alcoholic drink. Not Probably tea. a Belvedere and soda. That's alcohol. Okay. Uh, <laughs> probably, uh, damn. What about when you're sick? You know My favorite thing when I'm sick is fruit punch Gatorade. Oh, I mean, that's good for you. Yeah, it's good height. Dude, when stuff. you're, when I'm sick, and I'm gonna, uh, it is noodle soup, saltines, and fruit punch Gatorade. That's some like little kid shit right there if I ever heard it. Dude, bro, it That's may like very well be. You're it, like, spaghettios for dinner, bro, noodle soup. If and it makes me feel better, I don't I even I want stars care. and noodles. Dude, stars don't make you feel better. I mean, noodles make you feel better. No, the stars, they make noodle stars. Yeah, They're they don't camels. make you feel better. Okay, I will say this. I will say this. Hold on. Cut. My favorite drink is, oh, you know what? I like, that. I like the fizzy water a lot. The like, fizzy water? Like the, the lemon, like the water fizz in it. Like uh, Calistoga, the Calistoga with like Perrier lemon. Type stuff? Yeah, Perrier, like Calist oh, got you. Calistoga style with right. a with a Calm fresh gas, squeeze of lime. Yeah. You know, like a little little uh, <clears throat> little lime and freaking uh, Calistoga, a little like because it's almost alcohol. <laughs> How is that almost alcohol? Because you, you it's feel like fucking bubbly water, but like a little bit of lemon. So it's like ah. Oh. It's Drink good, man. I don't know. It's good. It's just tasty. Dude, I dig that. Hey, man. I'm not going to knock that. Uh, are you a fan of chocolate milk? Yes. <laughs> I fucking love chocolate milk, Me too. Dude. Every once in a while, I'll see like a thing of chocolate milk. I'll be like, fuck it. <laughs> yeah. And I'll grab a thing of chocolate milk. I'll be like, who drinks chocolate milk anymore? It's so Dude, good. Dude, let me tell you a secret. I'll give you the best chocolate milk so, there is out there. Okay. At Whole Foods, they don't okay. have these everywhere in most major cities. Okay. At Whole Foods, they <clears> have this milk. That comes in the glass containers, like the old school, like glass okay, milk. Okay. Yeah. All right. Dude, they make mini baby ones in like solid glass containers. Yeah. With like all organic, like, and you don't laugh about the organic because it tastes better because it's like just creamier and richer. And chocolate with milk. Fucking chocolate, like real legit chocolate uh, in there, dude. None of the bullshit fake, like real uh, cocoa dude. ground up in there. <laughs> pasteurized? Did they boil it? Yeah, it's pasteurized. But dude, no, I mean it's not pasteurized. It's not. And you shake it up, and you're just like, it's like uh, fucking dude, I creamy want that goodness. Right now. Dude, we can go get some after this. You want to yes. get some chocolate milk? Like, Fuck you! What are you asking that? I'll get some chocolate milk. I get chocolate milk, will, I get chocolate milk any time of the week. Dude. I when oh, I was a kid. Chocolate taco. Have you had a chocolate taco? Uh, no, a choco taco. Choco taco. I have not had a choco taco. What the fuck? I know. It's you like think Mexican I would. food meets chocolate. It's amazing. <laughs> what? Yes, but there's no Mexican food in it. White Russian with this chocolate milk. Ah, uh, pranger, pranger. Oh, <laughs> Dude, I will say, no, I, I will say, again. when I was when I was a kid, I went through this tear of having for breakfast <clears throat> Carnation Instant Breakfasts. Mm. What? Yep. I had those. So Carnation Instant Breakfasts was basically 
breakfast as chocolate milk. Right, I know that. You're gonna love it in an instant. Oh my god, dude, I would, uh, cause it was like, I get to wake up and I would have chocolate milk was my breakfast. See, I was a quick man. Quick? Um, I couldn't get into quick. quick fucking didn't rabbit, taste right. dude. It was on the TV. No, but it didn't taste healthy. right. It's not as healthy. It, it didn't doesn't taste matter. Right. It had the fucking rabbit, dude, and I wanted that. That's like Yoohoo or Yahoo or Yo. No, Yo Yahoo. That was some Yo-ho? bullshit. That Yoho, Yahoo. Yoohoo. Yoohoo. That was some Yoo-hoo. stupid shit if I ever seen yeah, it. Yeah, I hated it. But I didn't get. I couldn't get into quick. Oh no, I liked quick. See, I made Hershey's chocolate milk with my like <laughs> chocolate milk with the Hershey's chocolate syrup. Dude, and you make it yourself. Yeah, I did that too. You, you know, also some bullshit was the fucking uh, the the strawberry quick. Uh, oh. Strawberry milk. Strawberry, strawberry milk. milk. Yeah. Just say that. Yeah, that sounds <laughs> disgusting. It's disgusting. Strawberry but milk. But you know what? What was your favorite candy bar growing up? Oh God, I went through a lot. <laughs> Uh, Mine was either, I like Laffy Taffy, it was fucking good. I Charleston Chews were really good. Yeah, it was never Twix Charleston. were amazing. Twix. I went through a big Twix fan. Yeah, would you separate them out? Would you like you pull and then separate? Yeah. You can see how they were made with the little divots and like yeah, the, and I have, was like, oh, that's how they constructed it. Yeah, and then you eat most of the cookie first because the for caramel sure, tastes better. For sure, for sure, Yeah, Reese's Pieces, or not Reese's Pieces, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. I like Reese's Pieces too. All, All right, right, let's stop talking about this. I'm gonna eat some candy. All right, let's talk about, let, speaking of candy, Emma Watson to have nude sex scene in Final Harry Potter? What? 1,944 people like the story submitted by Rachel JTM. Harry Potter fans are abuzz this week with news that the final installment of the Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows will likely include a dream sequence featuring Daniel Radcliffe and Emma Watson in a very sexy nude scene. I, they had me at Emma Watson new, (laughs) I was in. Okay, so you're a fan. She, well, I mean, any, watch 12 episodes of any past Dignation and I talk about Emma Watson. How long have you been a fan for? Since she has come of age. <laughs> this is my Mr. Trick. Trapper. This is my... <laughs> TJ Trapper. This is, this is like... Ozzie, well, you can't do it. This is what you do. You should have just gone, oh, you've liked her from the beginning, right? And then I would have been like, yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> but, it, but you do this thing, you go, hello. <laughs> I was so totally trying to get you where you were like, you were like, oh, for five years at least, I'd be like, aha, aha, <laughs> it's a trap. <laughs> so, so, uh, how old is she again? She's 72 now. <laughs> Let me, this I need to see. Harry Potter, they've done a lot of movies. This is the same conversation we had like two episodes. I know it is. Oh, uh-huh. god damn it. <laughs> yeah, no, no, those are all legal, I think. No, they're not. not. The, oh, not that first one. Okay, I just want to see a current picture. I know we, we did this before. What's wrong with it? Let's do she it looks too young, dude. You're looking at old, newer, older pictures. Put in 09. Okay. <laughs> there, look at that. Oh no, look at that. Picture. Oh, that was a good go one. Back. Okay, that one? let's see. This is. Okay, so I, I'll say. Oh, you know. <laughs> Well, she looks a little fucked up in that one picture. <laughs> yeah. I feel bad even doing this, dude. Why? She's because old enough. These are mixed with like, there's like 19 year old Emma Watson. That's the problem when you search for like Emma Watson. There's like 14 year old Emma Watson. Yeah, there's like a 12 year old girl with a wizard stick, and you're like, no! And then there's like this hot, sexy and then girl. Like, yeah. like, yeah. And then there's like, and then you see one in the middle, like, and you're like, I don't know, what should I say? <laughs> <laughs> I, she think, I don't know. <laughs> Amazing, uh, dude. Okay, now this one is good. I'm a fan. That's that. That's cute. Nineteen-year-old Emma Watson, right? Uh, we hope. Right? We hope right? at this point because now you've committed. Right? Nobody... You're committed to child <laughs> pornography. Nobody, <laughs> nobody go and research that. Nobody, uh, nobody find out about that. No, I'm a big <clears throat> fan of Emma Watson. Um, so her nude, interesting. Uh, will it actually come through though? That I don't. That I don't know. You know what I mean? Remember like remember back in the day, we counted down the days till the uh, Ashley twins were going to turn eighteen. That was a big internet thing, right? Back in the day? <clears throat> yeah, there was a camera. I was never smart. a big fan of theirs. <clears throat> you know, I just, I, I don't think, I, I just can't look at her and be like, ah, that's really attractive. She's Emma too, Watson? Yeah, she's too young, dude. Okay. She's that's too cool. young. I agree. You know? In a way. Me, I mean, look, at the end I of the day, if I what? saw her at a party, I'd be what? like, oh, yeah, you're like younger uh, than my little sister. But I could also go, is it fucked up to I would like to have sex with you. Is it fucked up to say you can see where she's going? Because like in three, no, three or four years from now. No. 
Like, when she's, like, 25, I'm probably going to be like, God damn, that girl is hot, right? And you're like, I could have had her at 18. <laughs> no, but you know but what I mean? Like, she's, like, 19 now, and you're like, oh, a cute 19-year-old girl, right? She'll be a woman in, like, five years. Girl. God, it feels horrible. Dude, that, You'll I don't, be a woman. I, I don't like that. Soon. Like, I wouldn't. What's the, what's the youngest you would date down again? I don't remember what your answer was to that. Oh, geez. I don't know if you ever asked me that. I've never <laughs> thought of that. The youngest I would date down? Like, let's say you're single. Okay. Your, your girlfriend's like, I hate you. You play too much World of Warcraft. Yeah. And she takes off. And then all Sounds of a sudden. Sounds exactly you... like her too, by the way. <laughs> yeah, it's uncanny. No. So, so this girl comes up to me. She's like, hi, Alex. I love your show. I, I... What age do you need me to be? <laughs> <laughs> And I'd be like, good question. Uh, let me think about that. Uh, uh, I'm either 18 or 27. Yeah. Which would you like? <laughs> where, where on the range of young would you like me? Um, she I has a veil say, on, of course. So yeah, of course. You can't quite you tell. Can't tell. You're like, mm, until mm. you reveal your veil, I don't know where you are. Can I take back your veil? No. It's a surprise. It's a surprise. And then you're like, what? How many orders? Oh, just get 12. No, no, no. I didn't say 12. Uh, <laughs> that's horrible. Uh, uh, I mean, 20s, right, obviously, but I don't know oh. how far into the 20s. Okay, if a 21-year-old girl walked up to you, oh God, you're I... single, beautiful. Yes. Would I date her? And she's like, I just want to fucking throw down right now. <laughs> First off, I'd be like, are you okay? <laughs> and do you want to fight me? <laughs> she's like, I, I want to fight you so much, I, I want to throw down right, right now. now. I will punch you in the face. I will face. punch you in the nuts again and again. Okay. I'd be like, or? Okay, she's 21 and she's super hot. See, I don't, I don't really care too much. I think when I, you know, if somebody who's 18, I'd be like, oh God, you're 18, you're not even out of, you know, you're like just out of high school. I mean, she can't even mm. drink then either. No, I know. Well, that's the thing. 21, I'd be like, well, you can drink. But even then, <laughs> even then, it would definitely be hard. All right, let's but go to But it depends on the person. It depends on the person. You know what I mean? Like, I could yeah, probably meet, I, I like, a date cool 21-year-old. 21 21 I couldn't date a 21-year-old. There's no way, dude. You said no. There's no way. Harry There's Potter, no way. Harry Potter, Dustin Hollows. I was talking to Prager about this. Prager, you go pretty low. Glenn, how about you? Yeah. 26, 27. I'm, I'm about 26, 27, too. 26 for sure, 26, 27. Get so 25, you wouldn't go 25? Right. 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 Wait, you wouldn't go 25? I didn't say that, I was grabbing the camera. Yeah, come on, yeah, you're in this. 12? Uh, 26, 27, I'm the 20, same, 20, but, 20, but, but how old are you? I'm older than that. Ah. <laughs> He's like, I'm 47, but I go down to 22. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm 78 years old. So, so Prager, or uh, Glenn, what would you say? I'd say 27, 28. All right, all you guys are being freaking. <laughs> come not, on. What were you saying? Dating. Like, you dating's were, one thing. How about just hooking up with? Right, 22. Mm. One, 20. <laughs> 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 they're 18. Right, they're but you would. Well, I, mean, I just don't want to hook up with random chicks, yeah, dude. No, that's horrible. Yeah, no, God, no, that I'm, doesn't sound like something anybody would like. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like, dude, I don't know. It's it's different than what you, it's different than Who what you are think. You? Yo, listen. <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to find someone like to, to have actual girlfriend, like you know what I mean. I don't like, blame you. That's a that's a good. I, I'm not, I'm not what wanting you to like be for. date a random, just like oh, 19 year old chick. You know, it's like that's not what I want to do. Well, I mean, we're all in hypothetical land, land, or hypothetical land. Land. Uh, anyway. anyway. Jinx. What if this is an intent? Oh, we cook. I will get you a Coke, sir. <laughs> What's next? <laughs> next story of the day. Google phone confirmed sold exclusively by Google. 1,145 people dug this story. Ooh. Submitted by Jerry James Stone. The official Google <clears throat> blog confirms the company is currently currently dog fooding a new mobile device, meaning letting their employees try it out, eating their, eating their own dog food. Tech, tech, TechCrunch is reporting the mystical phone is indeed the HTC Passion. Hmm. Um, so basically what they're saying... So HTC is... Manufacturing the phone for Google. Okay. It's going to be an official Google phone. And uh, it looks pretty awesome. It looks sweet. You know, it's funny. I, I played with my friend's uh, Droid for the first yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. What would you think? Have you played with the Droid? No, no, no. You know... Uh, the Droid wants to be a good phone. It really does. The OS wants to be a good OS. You, I will say this. I, HTC has an operating system that sits on top of Android. Mm -hmm. It's called Geeks in the Room. Geeks in the Room. 
HTC's operating system sits on top. There's thousands of geeks screaming this right now. <laughs> yeah. Um, they have an operating system that uh, that sits on top of the uh, the Droid that makes it like really candy like. Like that's it right there. Oh yeah, See that's it right cool. There. Yeah. And it, it, it's a much much better um, uh, OS like native OS specification. What is it? Titan. T-Y-T-N? No, it's a. Uh, <clears throat> It's called their, um, gosh, this is killing me. I'm sorry, people. I told you I'd read the stories beforehand. I did read the story. I'm looking for this. Is it like a GUI for droid? It's a GUI for the droid, yeah. Or sorry, GUI for Android. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, it's awesome. It's, it's really sweet. It's a lot mm. sweeter than, than like, oh, it's there. It's right here. HTC Sense. It's called the Sense is the name of it. S-E-N-S-E. -S okay. Um, and basically, it's this really slick, clean, almost like iPhone-like UI. I think that uh, the droid itself does not use the, the like uh, the, the the sense uh, like little mini OS that sits on top of it. So right. it's kind of like made, um, the droid no, Motorola. No, no, no. Who made the HTC Sense? Oh, the HTC. Okay. So basically, uh, what happens is when you're like moving in between screens like yeah. this on the droid, mm -hmm. it's kind of like you know on the iPhone how every little bit of it is just polished. Like yeah. every UI interaction, where like you're sliding up a screen or moving something over, and on the iPhone it's just like, whoop, and it's like, whoop, and like everything like just locks to your finger in a way, and everything kind of spring loads the right way. Yeah. When you're playing with the Droid, and granted, I I know that like my geeky friend that has the Droid, he's a system admin, and he's like, I love it. It does, you know, I can shell out to Unix and do this and this and this. And I'm, I can see why he likes it, mm. but for someone that really is into like the very kind of aesthetics of the phone yeah. and like the, the, just the, the, the beauty feel, yeah. of the crispness of the look and feel <clears throat> yeah. that the iPhone brings, you're not going to get that in the Droid. It's very still a little chunky, a little heavy. When you slide at the bottom sc screen, mm. the slider that shows all the applications, like the revealer, it's like, mm, like to come up, you know? That's and you're kind of like, thing, oh, yeah. you're so close, you're so close, because this could be really good. You just need like another I think the funny iteration thing, or two. I think the really funny thing about the, the uh, Android products and also uh, the um, Palm Pre is I think they latched on to one thing that the iPhone doesn't do which is multitasking and then went we're gonna put that in there live or die and then you realize you know maybe mobile phones just aren't powerful enough to really be able to do multitasking and it's dragging down the whole operating system because one of the things that I felt the same way about the Palm is when I was using the Palm Pre it just felt really slow you know what I mean? Whereas yeah. the Apple is, it just feels really snappy. Right. And, 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 and not, not like, oh, well, it loads a page slow, or oh, well, the application loads slow. I mean, like, moving a, pain, a, a page, like going from one panel of apps to the next panel of apps is slow. It's the little, the turning it on is slow, right, you know right. what I mean? So, but I'm interested because I think that the, the stuff that's coming out of, of Apple is pretty standard. I know what it's gonna get. And, and I have to say, as much as I love my iPhone, I'm a, I'm a gadget guy. I'm a bleeding edge gadget guy. I love buying shit I don't need. I want a, I want a phone to come up that I'm like, I gotta have that. Right. Before the iPhone, I, you know me, I was getting a new phone like every six months. Yeah. I would figure out a reason to buy a new phone. <clears throat> so I, I'll say this about, about uh, the Android in general. Well, the other thing I don't like about some of the apps, because I was launching a bunch of his apps, yeah. is that it seems to me, and you know, people are gonna say, oh, he's just an Apple fanboy for saying this, blah, 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 but it seems to me that the people that develop iPhone apps, like, they're all kind of pushing each other on what a UI is like on the iPhone. Yeah. Like, in almost all the apps on the iPhone are a good big chunk of the best ones are very well designed. Yeah. When you use them, you're like, wow, they hired a really good graphic designer to work on this, right? Right, yeah, yeah. When I was using some of the Twitter clients and just some of the shit on Android, yeah. I'm like, ah, shit, they're, they're quite not there. This is clearly built by an engineer, right? Yeah. Like, the, the, this, the usability stuff wasn't thought through. And so that was some of the things I was looking at. I think that really uh, what's going to happen, I, I'm predicting that if I had to guess and close my eyes and open it up three years from now, I'm going to say that BlackBerry and, uh, and Palm are probably going to ditch their operating systems and go Android. I think everyone's going to mm -hmm. go Android. Yeah. I think Android has got, they got a great OS. I think that uh, it's just, I can't see, they, they've got a great like store finally opening up with a bunch of applications. Yep, yep. They've got like the next biggest app store out there with tons of people adding new applications. They've got a lot of really great developer support in the community. Yeah. Like, I hear nothing but great things like new apps launching all the time for Android. I think it, those are going to be the two players. Mm. Those are going to be the two, the two big ones. I think if, if RIM is smart and if they'll adopt Android. I really, yeah, I think Motorola's already done it. 
Yeah. It's only a matter of time before the other guys do. Oh, the other thing I really like about Android, they allow you to install apps outside of the App Store. So oh, there can be cool. a link on a web page to an application. You can be like going on someone's page and being like, oh, there's an app I want to install. Boom, so install it, it directly it like from computer, there. It treats it like a computer. Yeah. Exactly. Interesting. Dude, I dig it. So I am going to get the Google phone when it comes out. <clears throat> I'd get the Google I'm gonna, phone when Especially it comes if it's on Verizon and, and the iPhone is not on Verizon at that point. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do it. It's going to be a while. <laughs> All right, next story. Lost concept art from The Matrix. <clears throat> 481 people dug this story submitted by Darren07. Lost and forgotten concept art of one of the most recognizable sci-fi films ever. That These are epic freaking images from The Matrix, which makes me... It's interesting, because this looks like it's more for The Matrix trilogy, right? Mm -hmm. All this stuff. Did you like the second and third Matrix? No, I didn't, unfortunately. So this is the concept art for the second and third Matrix, because I remember those like guns and stuff like that. And... I almost feel like we need another <sighs> Matrix. Dude, Avatar. You have got to see Avatar. I have seen it. No, you haven't. Oh, Time Warp? No, it's you haven't seen it. I have. You have not. By the time people are watching this, I have seen that movie right now. I don't know what it is because I haven't seen it yet. But I. Oh, that's right. The yeah, date yeah, yeah. wise, I've I seen forgot. it by the time this comes out. I think screening. it's great. <laughs> you can't say you think it's great. <laughs> I'm I channeling think it's great. myself in the future. I think it's great. Dude, that movie. You're blown away. Uh, uh, so, Incredible Mr. Fox. It's called Fantastic, Fantastic Mr. Mr. Fox. Fox. <laughs> my top movie of the year. It's awesome. Now, this is a guy who in the future has not seen Avatar. Right. <laughs> so, though your future self might say F you, Avatar. Glenn, what did you think of Incredible Mr. Fox? It's called the Fantastic Mr. Fox. Dude, Fantastic Mr. Fox. Dude, we're going to see it on Thursday. Yeah, uh, it was amazing. I couldn't believe the Thank uh, you. graphics were amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. He hasn't it's seen it, hasn't seen it either. Amazing. But we're going in Thursday, and this will be after Thursday when this comes out. So we've already seen it. So check out these. Check out the Matrix concept art because it is. It does go to show there are some really good concepts that were happening that in were the left Matrix. Out. No, they were in there, or some of these shots were in there, but that it just the whole movie fell apart. The cool part about Matrix was that he was connected to a Matrix and then could do cool shit in the real world. Right. The rest of the stuff in the sewers well, not the and real shooting world. You could do shit in the uh, in, in the in the Matrix world. world, whatever. It's just I I, I want that I wanted those movies to be so much better. Oh, so did I. The Matrix when I first saw it blew my mind. Blew my mind. My mind grapes. Anyway. All right, next story. Your story. Next story. Love. Uh, okay, try that again. Live long and prosper. <laughs> Pick. Four thousand two hundred three people dug this story. Submitted by Mr. Baby Man. Mmm, this is the description. Mmm, <laughs> that looks highly logical to me, Captain. This is awesome. It's possibly the hottest Vulcan in the history of Vulcans. Oh my goodness. Although Paul is a close second. I mean, take a look at that. This has got Glenn written all over it. You, here's the thing. He if, I went to short a hair girls. if I went to a Halloween party and that chick was there, my jaw would be on the floor. Well, first of all, you can see her nipple right through the... She's That's clearly, why my jaw would be on the floor. She's not wearing a, 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 a shirt. No. And so, no, I'm holding shirt. it for you, Glenn, not for I, the camera. I, 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 I got it. Oh, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's looking at it right there on his computer. He's like, fuck that. I mean... I wish there was more info about it. Just, the, the, just such a tease, that picture. Yeah, I mean, I wonder who that is. Hotness.com. Interesting. Let's try that website. Hotness.com. H-A-W-T. Oh. Oh, that's a, that's a vagina. <laughs> <laughs> oh! oh, my gosh. So apparently these are just, uh, oh, these are kind of like geek it's girls. It's hot cosplay. What? What's that's cos not cosplay. <laughs> What's cosplay? Yeah. Cosplay is like costume play where costume girl, oh. Oh, there she is. Mary, Mary Jane, Jane spotted, spotted this. the Vulcan hottie. Oh, uh, Mary Jane. Pickles, just... go for it. Dude, are we really going to click through and try and find out who this is? Oh, wait, hello. We're closer. Uh, Zanny picks hump day hotties. What, what are these websites? Dude, how do, what? I, how do we not know about these websites? Uh, All right, so keep going. Um, what? That's the end of it. That's, that's enough oh, that's, hotness. That's it. So, Amazing. Uh, so Vulcans have now taken over the wall. <laughs> <laughs> that was giant boobies. 
Anyway, <laughs> let's talk to the sponsors, <laughs> shall we? <laughs> what are you laughing at, Glenn? <laughs> oh, you're drilling, you're drilling down. <laughs> Look at you. I love it. All right, let's get to the sponsors, shall we? GoDaddy.com, get reliable, secure web hosting without the long-term contract. GoDaddy's hosting plans are bigger and better than ever with 99% uptime, free 24-7 support, and no annual commitments. Enter the code DIG2, sorry, DN2, when you check out to save an additional $5 off your order of $30 or more. And don't forget to check out all of the Dignation GoDaddy deal codes at revision3.com slash GoDaddy. Awesome. Good day, Netflix. Thanks for Netflix for sponsoring this episode of Dignation. With Netflix, you can rent over 100,000 titles online, including lots of Blu-ray titles, with free shipping both ways to your home. They now have over 50 shipping centers, so almost all delivery days just happen in one business day. The plan started just $5.99 and is a new member, or $4.99, is a new member you can get a no risk two week free trial membership. Make sure to check it out at www.netflix.com slash Dignation and remember to use the www. I just like that uh, the uh, shipping days are usually one shipping day. <laughs> That's what you said. That was good. Gamefly is the largest online video game rental service and offers you the choice from 7,000 new and classic titles across all consoles and handhelds. With plans starting at just $15.95 a month, Gamefly members can rent one to four games at a time and keep them as long as they like. There are no late fees, no due dates, and shipping is always free. Once you're done playing a game, send it back to Gamefly and they will send you the next available game on your list. If you really like the game, you simply click Keep It on the Gamefly website, and the game is yours at a discounted price. Gamefly will even make you the case, or even mail you the case and manuals free of charge. Dignation fans get a two-week free trial. Go to www.gamefly.com slash Dignation. Some restrictions apply. See site for details. Awesome. All right. Little cross promo here. If you haven't been at <laughs> Revision <laughs> Store Three, Revision Three Store lately, check it out at store.revision3.com yeah, for some cool Dignation cross promo stuff. Here. <laughs> good for you as a holiday gift. <laughs> Why does it keep saying that? Hey, good for you as a holiday <laughs> gift. Good for you, holiday <laughs> gift. <laughs> you keep writing that copy, man. Uh, you can find out the brand new Dignation two disc DVD set, multiple colors of Dignation T-shirts, the brand new Dignation hoodie, and even a Dignation pint glass, which are great gifts for the holidays. Uh, make sure to use the code <laughs> SHOPREV3 when you check out and get 10% off. Find it all at store.revision3.com. Next story, Droid Trump's iPhone for Time Gadget of the Year. Now this, I know we talked about Keep going. You're drilling I'm down done. through hotness. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> We're drilling down. Oh, 678 people like this story submitted by I'm Sam Alamin. Today, I mean, why is the dog time today the provided. I mean, it's just weird. Wow. A minor surprise by giving the Metroid Droid, Metroid Droid, the Motorola Droid, a first place finish in Gadget of the Year. So it's interesting because the iPhone 3GS... <laughs> I'm going to minimize that we can't stop this. There we go. Thank you, Frank. You can't stop the phone. Go ahead. So the iPhone 3GS came out this year. Right. And was only fourth place. And they did that because it was the, the real only stuff that they were pretty excited about were the sort of augmented reality things like uh, Yelp and Lair and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Um, but they figured with all the turn-by-turn -turn navigation through GPS, uh, the large touchscreen, the QWERTY uh, keyboard hardware uh, that they felt it really actually, you know, beat the iPhone. What do you think? I mean, I know we no. just talked about it, but... I don't, I, I don't think so. Yeah? I, I honestly believe that, that on smartphones that the fold-out keyboard is dead. I think you might possibly be right. However, I need to try one because it's been so I long have. since I've tried I, it. I took a droid, I opened it up, and I was like, ugh, it feels so big. And, dude, you see... You think bigger, better, oh, more space. But yeah. in reality, once you get used to the iPhone, and now that we've been using it for like over a year, yeah. like I can type just as fast as I can on one of those keyboards. Yeah. Now I will You're say... You're a one-handed guy, though. No, 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 no. I, I, uh, I do like this. I type like this. You use two hands. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I will say there's a constant battle with me hitting the return button with my thumb mm -hmm. on this iPhone. I have that. And constantly getting a return capitalized letter. Dude, and I'm try, back, back. Try and start a word with X on your iPhone. Try, try and start right now. Oh, how did that work for you? So easy. Because uh, of the X button? It doesn't work for me. It was like trying to autocorrect and hit Z or Y. Okay, okay, my phone's broken. I'm sorry. 
You know what it is? It's it's the space bar isn't big enough, so when I go to hit the space bar, it it, it sometimes will I will I have to like move over to the center to make sure I hit the space bar without hitting return. Mm -hmm. So I'm constantly doing this, like watch. See? I just uh, hit return. Oh I see. I didn't hit I didn't want to hit return, but because the return is so big. I wish there was a little, a, like a little setting where I could make the return just a little smaller so I didn't, because that's the only yeah. thing. Yeah, they're going to have that setting. <clears throat> they're like, would you like to resize keys? You're like, yes. Yes. And it's like dragging the key, like, oh, a little bit smaller, move this one over here. Hey, man. <laughs> Technology exists. That's right. The tech is whack. I don't know. For me, I just, these are like my new favorite sites. Because there's no nudity. There's no nudity. It's just them like doing crazy shit. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> other than us looking at crazy, that's just weird. That's not hotness. That's fucked up. That's okay. Like, so, um, <laughs> anyway, but uh, George Trump's so gadget of the year from Time Magazine. I don't know. We'll have to figure that out later. I, I don't think it's gonna be George. I think it's gonna be the Google phone come next year. I uh, did. I'm excited to see it. I'm excited to see it. All right, people. Well, that, my friends, is what we call that. Thank you for watching this episode of Dignation. That's right. I'm Alex Albrecht. I'm Kevin Rose. Happy New Year's, people. Until next time.